Giant rat sail grass, Sporobolus pyramidalis and Sporobolus natalensis, is a tall upright grass that forms large tussocks. It's an aggressive grass that invades native and improved pasture systems and also environmental areas. It reduces pasture productivity because it's a tough grass, particularly when it's mature. It has high fibre content and low digestibility compared to our uh, native and improved pasture species. Giant rat tail grass grows up to two metres tall and has seed heads that are up to 45 centimetres long or even a little bit longer like this one which is probably 50 centimetres long. When seed heads emerge, they come out much more like a rat's tail grass spike, quite closed, but as they mature, the branches come apart at the bottom and, and stay narrow at the top. The main seeding period is through summer and autumn. It can produce up to 85,000 seeds per square metre in dense giant rat's tail grass, and 90% of that seed is viable straight off the plant. A significant portion of that seed can remain viable in the soil for up to 10 years. The small seeds of giant rat's tail grass are sticky when they're moist, so therefore they can be transported stuck to vehicles, quad bikes, livestock, feral animals, and any other machinery, or even people that are moving through giant rat's tail grass when seed is present. It's also been found as a contaminant in hay and in pasture seeds, and it has been moved around the state in that method. In terms of uh, cattle, cattle um, shifted on their fur, on their hooves, and with their manure. They actively seek out and eat seed, and it can remain in a cow for up to seven days. Water is also another um, key way giant rat's tail grass moves around, and it causes problems downstream when we have to try and limit the spread of giant rat's tail grass. Giant rat's tail grass can be found in a wide range of soils and climate conditions. Ecoclimatic modelling suggests that GRT can be present in 30% of Australia and 60% of Queensland, in areas with as little as 500 millimetres of average annual rainfall. It can be found in eastern Queensland from Cape York to the New South Wales border, including Burnett, central Queensland and Mackay regions. Weed seed spread prevention is an important part of managing GRT. Always clean machinery, vehicles and quad bikes after working on and travelling through infested areas. Also check clothing, shoes and other equipment used. We all have a responsibility to minimise the impacts of this invasive grass. For more information call 13 25 23 or visit biosecurity.qld.gov.au